let's go and find this Denise. Um, she wanted us to put research in this bar of soap. Um, so should we just sort of just stuff some of these? Of the laboratory. Yeah, stuff some of these cinders into that. Well, let's just like squirt some blood in there or something. You're like, come on, man, squirt blood. <laughs> All right, I put a little bit of blood in the soap. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, great. Yeah. Just cut my finger with my oh wait, my dagger we melted my dagger. There Aren't must be we something... confronting her anyway. We're not actually doing business with well, her. Well yeah, exactly. We, I think we should I think we should throw her soap at, at her feet. Yeah. Liliana, yeah. our nemesis, you together. Okay. Yeah. In league. Yeah. Correct, right. yes no? Yeah. <laughs> Let's try confidently out of the lab and throw this soap at her feet. <laughs> yeah. Okie dokie. Um it's probably quite late for me to ask this question, but are you taking any precautions to cover your steps on the way out? <laughs> I sc- hastily scrawl a note that I would like to stick to the wall that says, sorry, went haywire, signed, robot. Yes! <laughs> Name it on the bot. Love it. Yeah. Ah. Write it in a sort of like blocky letters yeah. that look yes. like a yeah. robot. Yeah, right. yeah I'm, gonna need some, yes. uh, I'm gonna need a deck sleight of hand check from you. What, to write a letter? <laughs> to write a letter <laughs> that looks sufficiently like, like it came robot. from an automaton. Do it binary. Who's see you on, Meryl, when? Just the, the O's can, should be squares. Team rules, I'm neutral. <laughs> and the, are you seen? Great. Yes, yeah, it's a fives. Yeah, it's like leet speak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> the dog painstakingly crafts this letter. It takes quite a long time. And uh, I'd li- I like to imagine that you make sort of soft beep boop noises under your breath while you're doing it. Really getting in the headspace. Where does the accent go on the boop? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, sure. You can absolutely do that. Cool. This should cover our tracks nicely. Mm. Sorry, went haywire. Was it love robot? Sorry, comma, went haywire. From robot, as in that Hayes, yeah. Hay got in the wires and explosion. We have the word haywire in Geth. Yeah, it didn't say love robot because robots can't love. It said from. It said warm regards, yeah. robot. Yeah, cold, unfeeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The rest of you are trying to. You're you're going to go confront Denise. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Denise, having uh, seemingly returned the key to Hamadal's around Hamadal's neck and fulfilled that duty, is uh, actually in the cafeteria. Eating very carefully around and abyssal chicken, <laughs> having some trifle. Mm. Yeah, just kind of sat there like. Mm. I throw the soap at her feet. We didn't do what you wanted. Why not? Egbert will explain why. I'm over by the buffet. Fixing <laughs> 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 a plate. Something to do with you. Uh, you Prudence will explain why. Ow, I say <laughs> from a chicken egg. Me- Meryl Wen will explain why. <laughs> Corazon will explain why I say as I shove my face into a, a limitless salad bowl. <laughs> yeah. Dob will explain why I say. <laughs> right. Can somebody, please explain why. Yes, says, Denise. Apparently, I a shall. Dinosaur that's made out of meat that's been crumbed. Denise, we went into the secret area of the lab. Good. Yes, that was the idea. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm getting to the bit that I'm angry about. Yeah, okay. And it was on fire when we got there. Yeah, and the robot was going haywire. <laughs> we tiptoed around that. <laughs> okay. Look, we... Seems like a strange incidental done as you asked. thing to mention, but carry we on. We haven't done as you asked. Why not? Re the soap, re the samples. Okay. Because we've d- uncovered some troubling information that I'm not going to divulge. I'm just going to ask you exactly why did you want us to steal this information? Who is your paymaster, Denise? Tell us now. Well, I don't have a paymaster yet. I'm trying to find the highest bidder. You're trying to... Okay. So your plan is just to steal a bunch of blood and then go around and be like, I promise it's worth it. Well, obviously... Zone of truth there, Egbert. <laughs> it's the most useless spell ever. Why? Well, because... Because I'll read you why. Yes, I'll please. read you exactly why from okay. the card. Let's hear it. It says if an affected creature is no, it says an affected creature is aware of the spell and can thus avoid answering questions to which it would normally respond with a lie. Such what? a creature can be evasive in its answers as long as it remains with the boundaries of truth. So it knows well, that, that does suck. Yes, yeah, <laughs> no, it knows it's been zone of truth and uh, it can avoid saying any lies. Is, but is that just if? But but no, no, but, we, but, 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 but we can calculate if Denise is lying. Because Denise won't respond at all. And why would Denise not respond at all unless Denise had something to hide? Fine, I cast Zone of Truth. Okay. All right. If she, uh, she it answers sh- with a question, then we know. <laughs> That's how they do it. It should yeah. be noted that uh, up so to very this point, important Egbert question, Egbert. had been quite uh, aggressively attacking the buffet, and as such, a chip has landed on her shoulder. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <clears throat> sure, you can cast Zone of Truth on Denise. Right. Well, I do it. Uh, she's aware of this. It's, so a she of, says, it's a range of 60 feet, so right. I can do it from the bus. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> she's just shoulder. over his shoulder while he's. <laughs> just, oh, I see how it is. <laughs> I see how it is. 
Go on then. All right. Uh, Denise, who yep. is your paymaster? I don't have a paymaster. I was trying to find the highest bidder and just sort of sell it to them. And then, if you'll remember, you insinuated that was a bad idea. And I was about to tell you that obviously I was going to look around and see if I could find anyone who might have use for this and sell it to them as a competitor. I would explain its use by talking about who I've been working for and what the blood's good for. Do you know hmm. if Hamadal is working with anyone else in his endeavor? No, he's not, as far as I'm aware. He appears to be working alone. How's it going, Dob? Because he's always worked alone. Well, you can hear it's going... Interrogation. It's going poorly. It sounds like... Well, <laughs> it's not going poorly. Ask it's, her if she knows Liliana. Do you, have you, who, do you know Liliana? Who's Liliana? Ah, oh, where to begin? No, well, do you know you Liliana? Know. No, um, do I, imagine... No, I don't know Liliana. No, I don't okay, know. that I was don't a, know that was a, called Liliana. Imagine if in one burst answer. of light, your life was transformed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's the best way I can describe it. Okay, question for you, if you yes. want to step inside the zone of truth, <laughs> on, that I'm very much aware of. In you get, come on. We're at 60 feet. We're all in here now. <laughs> yeah. Let's all get in. Let's really work. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 15 foot radius sphere, so there's sphere. So there's sphere? Oh. Are you asking me about Liliana? And also, who I've been trying to find to pay me, because you think this Liliana person might pay me a lot of money for the research that I've been trying to steal? No, that's not why I'm asking you. We got a truth off. Wait, <laughs> but give me the question again. <laughs> are you asking me about this Liliana person and whether I already have a paymaster because you think Liliana might pay me a lot of money for this research? No, it's because I think Lily, you already are working with Liliana and and are planning on bringing the research back to her. Okay, question for you: Would she pay a lot of money for that? Do you think? And therefore, is it a good idea? I think she would tell you she's going to pay you a great deal of money, and then once she had the research, she would flay you or some such. Mm. <laughs> awesomely. You seem to believe that's true. Um, yeah, I, she would 100%. Inside the zone, true so I'm already in oh, Okay. It. <laughs> 100% she would promise you the world and then end yours. But does she have a lot of money? I don't I think don't that kind know. of thing's important to her. Is there any harm in me but just yes. asking? Yes. Uh, there's potentially a great deal of harm in you just asking because she might kill you just for the hell of it. Um, also, but she definitely does have a lot of money. She, she has a lot of just, our money. You just have the name Liliana. You don't even know where she's, she's in. Well, that was going to be my next question. If you could... <laughs> well, I inferred. I, you know, anticipated your needs like a good zone. I was going to ask how I could find Liliana. Yeah, this is great. In, yeah, she's in Necropolis on sea. Okay. Oh. It's ten... Someone get him out of the zone of truth and I'm trying to stop them. No, 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 she's gonna, she's gonna, like, <laughs> carry, to, assuming that Eggman is, like, targeting her, she's gonna, like, <laughs> start <laughs> sh shuffling toward, like, there's a table in the way, so she's a bit like, uh, she wants to stay close to Delp and try and get more information. Right. How do I get to Necropolis on sea? Uh, well, no, um, I, I put my hand over his mouth. I cast Grease on I his mouth. I draw a map. <laughs> <laughs> Great, oh, thanks. No, no. Thanks. Uh, Dex, I have hand check to see how good this map is. Uh, well. Because you are being manhandled by... Well, you're being elf-handled. 23. Uh, it's an incredible map. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. Thank you. Uh, you you're, you're welcome. Let me ask you a question. Okay, <laughs> sure. Yes, since we're doing this. <laughs> this interrogation is going terribly. <laughs> I've not engaged with it because she doesn't have the secret research because we, we didn't see it. No, so. but we're giving our our location, our very location away. You're giving to away Liliana. Liliana's location. I don't see what the harm is. She no, knows no, the when, research is when here. Denise goes, yeah, when yeah, Denise goes, yeah, when Denise goes to Necropolis right on sea awesome. and is tortured horribly by Liliana. Yes. Denise will Shire go, oh. Baggins. That's what she'll yell. Yeah, and it that's will, us. Lead. Yes. The yeah. Of awesome guys. I'm still right at the here. buffet eating, assuming this is going terrible. I'm going to join you. Pretty, okay. pretty safely assuming that. What are your favourite dips? Ooh, I do like a salsa. There's, There's like a, quite a nice French onion over here, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, the Thousand Island, that's always a good choice. Yeah, it's a good sauce. Oh, it's just ketchup in there, isn't Your it? sauce of a thousand. It's really more of a peninsula. It's a secret sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know how to just de-escalate this situation. Denise. Yes. If what? it's money you want, we have loads. Well, it's not necessarily money. Why don't we money. buy the secret off you? Well, because I want to ruin Hammerdale because he's been awful to me this whole time. That's my plan. And if this Liliana is as dangerous as you say she is, and if 
if she's, you know, if she's as interested in Hammerdell's research as you say she is, she seems like a perfect candidate. All right. Well, Maybe you... I don't even have to put myself in harm's way. I could just let her know that this guy's got all of this stuff that she might want, and that I think he's bad and she should destroy him, and then it seems like she'll just kind of do that of her own volition. I think it you're tangling seems perfect. with forces you can't possibly comprehend or understand. Okay, but yes, but my point is I'm going to sick those on Hammerdell because I hate him. I think Liliana's going to kill you. Okay, well... Mm, how come you've survived? I assume you've had dealings with her before. You also pretty heads up about her. I think she can't bring herself to do it. My We've theory. run away. Why is that? A lot. I'm, I'm very happy. Why is that? Because I think, or maybe it's a hope, or you know what? Maybe I'm just lying to myself. He fancies oh, yeah. her. I have a bit of a, well, quite a lot of a crush on her, and I guess I want it so bad to be reciprocated that. I tell myself whatever I need to hear. Wow, you just said that in a zone of truth. That is heavy. Yeah. <laughs> May I leave the zone of truth? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I flop weekly out of the zone of truth. Okay, so if anyone well, else wants to take over interrogation duties? <laughs> <laughs> How did the interrogation go? Did How he get anything good? All went? Well, <laughs> shall I put in this spell card? <laughs> <laughs> it does suck. <laughs> More chips have accumulated on his shoulder. There's like three potatoes worth there. Well, I'm satisfied that Denise isn't working for yes. Liliana. Yet. I'm not satisfied that she's not sure. Sure. <laughs> I feel like we've now fed Denise information that she could take to Liliana. Will. Will. Thank you, Denise. <laughs> um, so we have to kill her. Mm. <laughs> Hmm? Uh, no, that's not... How about just an arrow in the knee? As in an arrow in the knees? I'm out. (laughs) I'm out. I think that knew where I was going. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) I'm not out because I didn't know where you were going. I'm out <laughs> I didn't like where you went. Out Damn, because outwitted. Did. Oh no, oh no, I'm just, I'm just saying, you can't just be mad at me. Egbert joined in. <laughs> oh, do, do puns count as a mistruth? I cast a of truth on Meryl then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you have to literally explain it. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that makes them unfunny. <laughs> that makes them unfunny. Yeah. Okay, good. Right. Um, I don't Sorry, think we should kill this unarmed uh, person. I think that would be mm. bad. Yeah, I mean, if you let the hag off. <sighs> the, the hag wasn't in our way. <laughs> <laughs> also, her and the hag were bros. <laughs> okay, so what are our problems? We've got problems? I don't know, I'm sad now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. One, Denise knows about Liliana. Two, yeah. Dobby's sad. Two, Dobby's sad. Yeah, that's Three. one of our biggest problems. Can we, I'd say that's, that's, that's number one. All right, one, <laughs> Dobby's keep, sad. Yeah. Two, Denise knows stuff. Keeping Three, Hammerdahl is using some kind of terrible science to create weird clones that die instantly. Yeah, I think keeping Hammerdahl's research away from Liliana is probably a good idea. Yeah. Although, I mean, is it? Because if she uses his current clone research, then but all she'll the, perfect it, and then the she'll take over die. the world with dinosaurs. She'll perfect it. Mm. We don't know that. She might be real dumb. Do you want to take that yeah, chance? Think of the first Egbert clones that we met, and then the ones that the prehistory books. Came, yeah, 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 came along later. Like she has. She but then she hasn't been perfecting this. Uh, they, uh, I mean, it seems like her clones are a lot better than this guy's clones. Maybe she was writing to say, cease and desist, this yeah. is my intellectual property. <laughs> Stop chomping my flavor. I <laughs> guess we'll never know what was in the letters. Yeah. Okay, are we going to keep mentioning how I burned all the letters, or yeah. are we going to move past it? No. Okay. How the first this? one. I'll stop bringing up the hag. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. Yeah, you stop bringing up the letters. She's a reformed hag. Okay, well, you just brought up the hack, so... <laughs> <laughs> I think we just need to talk to Hammerdahl about yeah. this stuff. You want to confront... Ham- I mean, we, we should, confronted we can, Denise and that went yeah. horribly. So. We confronted Denise and that went horribly, but now with the learnings we took from that horrible confrontation... <laughs> okay. Not yeah. much. Still here. <laughs> are, we, are we killing me? Is this what we're doing? I don't want to Tie her up, Marilyn. Tie her up? Um, so we've made a decision about killing. We've made a decision about killing, and the decision is no. You just want to let her run off to Liliana then? Yeah, well, Liliana will kill her. What, she doesn't know anything. She hasn't got any secrets. She knows info. where this island is. Yeah. Yeah. If she leads Liliana here, we'll all be murdered. And all the research. She'll just break down It'll that take her a while to get here. We can just leave. I think she can. Denise, travel. you're not. You're not. Pretty rapidly. Stupid. Are you? No, I don't think so. If you were to tell Liliana where this place was with no other leverage whatsoever, she'd just come here and kill everyone. Can you not see that that's what would happen? Yes. But, why, but that's what Denise wants. Oh, well, that is what she wants. I mean, I, I, you know. 
I mean, is would, it would I put you out if you were on fire? Probably. But do I necessarily care if Liliana comes here and kills everyone and you're here when she does it? Mm. No. We are not Denise. Wow. Now you see, you've made I'm in a zone of truth. I, I was <laughs> true neutral, man. Well, what? You yourself a problem. I have a goal. This seems. This seems. Let's just lock her in a closet to, or something. I'm going to ask you not to lock me in anywhere, and I'll probably, probably try and resist you if you if, if you do. Well, I'm too sad to have any opinion on. All this right, let's solve problem number one, which is Dobby's sad. Okay. Have you thought Aww. ever she's maybe not that into you? Oh, well, I feel better now. Thanks. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> From my special blend <laughs> of homegrown comfort. Does that make you so bad? Wow. I feel <laughs> so warm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Remember, you're facing keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I mean, your stench is pretty off putting. <laughs> Liliana would probably find it a repellent. Mm hmm. <laughs> she's. she's... She's not worth your tears. We are bad at this. Yeah, you like, are. I'm good at this. Why don't you cast calm I'm, emotions on yourself? I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. <laughs> actually, that's probably the best advice. <laughs> I'm going to stop listening to my cohorts mm -hmm. and remind myself that um, probably a lot of people were at my wedding and didn't die afterwards. Maybe the maybe the folk ballad love song I did about Liliana will have spread. Maybe it will have reached her ears, and perhaps it will have you know conveyed how I feel in a way that I've never managed to. That is. Or well, okay. have you considered? Yeah. That love is a mirage for weak-minded people. <laughs> but I thought you all sort of like in a quite a meaningful way loved me. Was I wrong? Everyone, stay away from the zone of truth. Step backwards out of the zone. <laughs> Yeah, man! <laughs> yeah. Time to be I'm not cheered up. Oh. I'm going to Jerry Springer. I... <laughs> look, right. right, look, okay, and look. Here look. comes. <laughs> look. Here comes now. Liliana because Denise has left in the final <laughs> second. Look, it's. Up next, it's right. Amadol the father. <laughs> Denise, Denise can't teleport. Necropolis on Sea is miles away. It'll take her several days to get there, probably. Yeah. So let, let her go. Who cares? We'll talk to Hamadal. We'll not be here yeah, in two days. Anything. We'll tell Hamadal that probably. Uh, what about all your precious dinosaurs that are going to be here when I don't Eliana care about turns dinosaurs. up and destroys them all? Does anyone care about dinosaurs? I care about dinosaurs. I used to dinosaurs. care about all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> giraffes and little cute little just right there. All right, well, you can do whatever you want with them. Let's Have just go and talk considered? to... I'm off to talk to Amador. Yes, yeah, Prudence, Don't I we say. We'll all die eventually one day. Yeah, so we're just speeding up the process. <laughs> so... A bit between here and dying, that's all, all cruft. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I... Did that help? <laughs> Cut through the drink. Yeah. <laughs> just get to the good bit. <laughs> Exquisite pain. <laughs> well, I permanently remove some light from Dom's eyes. <laughs> Fair. I think I'm I'm up for talking to Hamadol. I, I want to hear his side of the story. Yeah, right, we I'm, should confront Hamadol. I don't want to kill this furbolg lady. Right. I don't think we should kill Denise. Well, Denise should come with nice. us at least. Okay. Yeah. Let's Denise, go. we're going to go and confront Hamadol in a kind of quite aggressive way. Well, if also, like, that. consider this. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get yeah. my halberd. All right, sweet. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is that a once extinct kind of bird that you've brought back? <laughs> sure. <laughs> She's uh, going to a weapon rack. It is out of the zone of truth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, when she leaves the zone of truth, it's like, Rrr. Okay. And she, yeah, she tosses off to get a get a martial weapon. Great. All right, everyone, back to Hammerdahl's quarters, which were I remember where they were. Let's go. Yeah, they were this way. Yeah. I wasn't even there when we went. So. Follow the door's there. <laughs> it's just there. Yep. It's yeah. just off the couch. Off we go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's do another confrontation. Yeah. Booting the door. <laughs> right. Zone of truth. For God's <laughs> sake, Hamadel. Are you kicking the door in or are you? It's not well, politely. I, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> okay. We do. Uh, it, there's no way of having. If we do this confrontation, we will give away that we broke into the secret lab. Yes. Perhaps, like, Hamadal still considers us friends. Mm. Perhaps it would be a better idea to just have, like, a sort of pally, friendly conversation about mm. do you have any other benefactors? Mm. Have you ever, you know, maybe we could, like, drop partnering into... partnering with um, someone? Yeah, with yeah. a fearsome sorceress. We could, you know, mention 
like uh, uh, you know, oh, you know, we've had a run in with this Liliana character, yeah. and see and just see how he reacts. Okay. Um, yeah, I think if we just share our backstory a little bit, a little bit mm. of our backstory of like, oh man, that reminds me of this, you know, fierce sorceress who's been on our trail forever. She's yeah. all she about had the cloning. Yeah. And she had work. clones. Yeah. Yeah. I think what we should do is kick open Hamadal's door and propose mm. a barbecue tonight to celebrate the good work we've done, and then you know we get him in his cups a little and just you know just have a chat. <laughs> Love it. I boost open the door and say, Hamadal, want to come to a barbecue? Take the chickens. Take the chickens? What, for the barbecue? No. Great. It's barbecue chicken. Okay, so you kick open the door, and uh, if I'm reading between the lines here, what Marilyn was trying to say is, watch out for the chickens. I see. Uh, Because a bunch of swarm with chickens. There are a bunch of abyssal chickens (laughs) behind the door, and you hear one and go, and they're all kind of just going off on one. Mm. They're kind of just barking like little yappy terriers. Hamadal, wake up! Call off your chickens! Oh, 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 goodness, you hear sort of from way down the end of the corridor. Mallory, Mallory, stop it, stop that, stop that, shh. Everybody calm down, calm down. You could just hear like this going on behind the door and in the corridor where some of the chickens are, are running around. Um, from behind you, actually kind of like running between your legs, Corazon, comes like the abyssal chicken that was in the cafeteria. Oh. It's like, <laughs> 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 he just runs into the corner and just <laughs> <laughs> Just regurgitates trifle onto the rug. Oh. It's, I hoover it up. <laughs> just force of instinct, you know, like force out it. Oh, of course, mm. yeah. <laughs> Well, that's vile. Um, Sorry, I don't but eventually know why. you hear you hear the unmistakable sound of um, of dry biscuits being rattled around in a metal tin, <gasps> and all the chickens are like, <clears throat> and he's like, "All right, yes, yes, yes." He sort of emerges. He's in his he's in the little dressing gown with his little nightcap. He's like, "All right, all right." He puts down some kibble. Says, Honestly, it's not even time for you to be fed. Oh, hello, hi. Hello. Hey, you've kicked hi. my door in. Well, it was That'll more, be what it's an emergency off. barbecue. I invitation. thought it w- was. I th- We're just exuberant about what a great time we've had uh, touring your wonderful facility, oh. and we wondered if you wanted to come to a barbecue where we discuss all of our great times that we've had together. Yes. Um. Sure. Yes. I. I think. Well, what with the the curing the rabies problem and all. Mm. Um, yes, we probably have earned ourselves a little yep. a little treat. A little and, as far, and as far as we know, that's 100% of your problems. Yeah. I mean, there's no other problems <laughs> with, the, with the clones, are there, that you've been having? These, uh... well, Save it for the barbecue, Corazon. Oh, sorry, yeah, <laughs> off to the barbecue. I'm sure call them Please clones in any case. Oh, no, what, what, what would you call them? Yeah. I mean, you're taking DNA from old things, making replicas of them. Well, it sounds pretty clony to me. I would say it's revenant necromancy. Revenant necromancy. Well, and that's more catchy. It's, I suppose mm-hmm. it's not without its problems. I mean, we saw the rabies thing. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I'm sure there's I. Yeah, time to talk about that later. Now that we've got rid of the rabies, these revenant necromancy creatures will have a, a long, happy life, I'm sure. So, uh, <laughs> what can I bring this evening? Uh, a oh. dessert would be polite. I d- yeah. Um, sure. And, uh, you know what? And just uh, apart apart from a dessert and some wine, just yourself. Just, 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 just your great. No, but no do potato bring... salad. There's always too much potato salad. Yeah, we don't want that. All right. Do, do bring dessert and wine. Yeah. Okay. Dessert and wine. Uh, fine. Um, could I also p- potentially um, interest anyone in uh, maybe a couple of giraffe burgers? Oh, that yes. sounds good. Great. No, thank yes. You. Uh, cool. We should. Uh, Yes, I should be able to get some, my hands on some of that, relatively soon. Ah, wonderful. Let me a wisdom perception check, please, Carlos. Nineteen. You hear a soft thud somewhere else in the distance. <laughs> Thank you. Smashing. Uh, dessert and wine and some giraffe burgers. It is delicious. All right. All right. Well, we'll we'll meet out in the field in front of the facility at uh, say seven p.m. Great. Um, strange question. I didn't know I had a barbecue. Oh, we'll make one out of a... It would pit. A pit. A pit. We'll make a smoking pit. Yeah. Yeah. Make a smoking pit. I'll bring my smoking jacket. Ah, (laughs) marvellous. Great. What fun. It's a classic Hammerdahl wit. I can't wait to see more of it at 7pm. See you then. (laughs) See you then. (laughs) We need need to make the most alcoholic punch (laughs) in the history history of the world. Yes. Do you think if Hammerdahl goes into his secret laboratory... He will be sufficiently convinced by the letter from the robot. It was written in a robot font. You're yeah. right, you're right. I was wrong to question. <laughs> the only problem would be if, if he then confronts the robot and the robot convinces uh, yes. convincingly. 
but that we at, he'll know from the note that the robot's gone haywire. So yeah. he won't trust mm. the robot. Yeah, he won't trust the robot. Yeah. Perfect. Right, I could, we'll leave that to run on yeah. its own then. Yeah. Or I could disguise myself as a robot and go down there and act all haywire. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've got barbecue things to prepare. Mm. Yes, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Right. How do you make alcohol? It's but well, you let sort of fruit Ferment go off. In, you let fruit sugars. go off in your mouth. And so, <laughs> I think, right? You need Ferment. some yeast. Yeah. So you're just gonna yeah. like you need eat some an sugars. orange and then go. Uh, uh, you need some heat. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Yes. We'll make some primordial fruit wine or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do they not sell booze in this place or in the cafeteria? cafeteria? Is there a bar? Yeah, but it's not going to be the West. They're one of those grade. little fridges that has small bottles of like Jacob's Creek at the bottom. No, being um, be, being part of a science facility, I'm afraid there isn't. <laughs> it's a being a science facility, well, it's ethanol. So <laughs> <laughs> lab grade ethanol. Lab grade yes. ethanol. Yes. Yeah, there's yes. oh, there's lab grade ethanol. If you yeah. All right. Well, we okay. just put a few drops, drops of orange of juice in that. Float a lemon in it. So, yeah. 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 Some fruit. Some uh, red color. Yeah. Punch is red, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Okay. So we make a big punch bowl. Mm. Okay. Extremely, extremely boozy booze. Yeah. Uh huh. Grind up some beetles for the colour or something. Yeah. Make a um a smoking pit. Yeah. I cast shatter at the ground to make like a nice clean sort of half <laughs> yeah. A crater. Yeah. Well, a crater. You could call it a crater. Call it a neat barbecue pit. Mm. Yeah. Going to go and uh, chip up a tree to make some. <clears throat> okay. All right. Hang on. We're yeah. going like, to have to break some of this down into rolls. So we're, <laughs> we're making some sort of lethal punch. I think the giraffe's going in the rolls. <laughs> Giraf- giraffe is good. Yeah. Nearly lethal punch. Right. Nearly lethal. Yeah. Lethal yeah nearly right. lethal yeah. punch. Yeah. Ninety-seven okay. percent lethal. Just boozy, <laughs> but like so sugary and sweet. But it that, tastes like, it like yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. Hammerdahl won't know how 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 much he's getting. <laughs> Okay, um, right. So, uh, Corazon, I'm going to say, uh, from you, I need some sort of... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I I mean, it seemed rude, but at the same time, what else could I have been asking for (laughs) other than you throwing a D20 around? Uh, This is a dex stealth check to sneak past Suzette into the laboratory to steal... Um, a, a, every time you're reminded you have a sister, it's, it's like, <laughs> wow! <laughs> um, to steal a bunch of, of medical, well, no, science grade, science grade ethanol. ethanol. Okay. Uh, that's a natural 20. <laughs> that's a four. Um, okie dokie. So, um, yeah, you kind of like crouch walk <laughs> and <laughs> you sort of just pick up two big, like, big glass, like. Yeah. Um, like Demi John's on this. <laughs> so ethanol secured. Um, you were talking about uh, coloring it in some some way. Yeah, yeah. A beetle. A beetle. Yeah. Who's yeah. who's gonna find me some beetles? Maryland. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Find some. Grind up some of your nature. Some you like. Giant <laughs> historic beetle. Uh, intelligence <laughs> nature check, beetle. please, to search the grounds of the facility to try and find a beetle that will. I use my inspiration. Okay. Um, okay, that is a seven. Okay. Are you using your inspiration? No, you. I can't. Oh, use you used my, it. I've used it. So okay. Well, listen. Um, the good news is, you do find a sufficient quantity of beetles to colour the ethanol. Yeah. The bad news is, it looks like some sort of sludgy brown, oh. uh, as if you've just ground like a bunch of cockroaches into it. Um, I've not but, put it in yet. I've just, I'm just like trying to find a colour. I'm not, I'm not, I'm looking for the, <laughs> I'm looking for <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, Merlin, Johnny Merlin hasn't put it in yet. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. You, okay, fine, all right, okay. Basically, I all tried right, to compromise, do... compromise, compromise. You have, you found some beetles, you've ground them up, you don't think it'll work because the colour's not right. Yeah, like, I'm like, this is, this is br- brown? Do we want brown? Also, that type of beetle is now extinct. <laughs> oh. Extinction! Oh. <laughs> it's a reserve! You didn't know how many beetles you should you could have taken. Let's just cast Minor Illusion on it and turn it red. Oh, yeah, uh, and you took too many of them, <laughs> which is to say all of them. We could have just yeah. cast Prestidigitation on the S and all of them. Anyway. Well, oh, we could make it taste not super boozy. Well, Beetles can't the... be an important part of any ecosystem. They're yeah. so small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but are they going in the punch or not? <laughs> they're in the punch. If you don't, put it's them a in the waste. Punch, otherwise, they, they yeah, die in vain. You need yeah. to use every part of the beetle, even the bucket. That's what they would have wanted. 
Yeah, I put it in. I put it in out of pure shame for like, they must be used for something. Okay, like, cool. So we do need to dilute the alcohol somehow, otherwise yes, it's exactly. gonna kill him yeah, 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 yeah. They might be delicious. They might, yeah, they might be delicious. Yeah, these I mean, honking stink you know. beetles might be. <laughs> yeah, they... Flavors are not a problem. We can flavor it how we like. Yeah. yeah. Just, make it taste like a light fruity punch. The formerly <laughs> critical in, critically mm-hmm. endangered honking stink, stink beetle of death, <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're now in the punch. The punch is now just slightly viscous. <laughs> There's a, a real tang to them, these honking stink beetles. <laughs> Um, okay, so that's good. Uh, Dov, you were casting Shatter on the Ground, I believe. Yeah, I want to cast Shatter, I want to cast shatter on the Ground to create a nice, neat sphere. Okay, well, uh, the AC of the Ground is <laughs> probably quite low. So the AC is... of the planet. <laughs> Ro- I mean, it's, it's a big target, it's hard to miss. Roll me damage, please, for Shatter. All right, okay. Uh, I'll cast this as big as possible. <laughs> <laughs> The Moonraker laser hits the yeah, 24. 24. Yeah. Feet across is the size of the closer. <laughs> oh, <cool. laughs> this is the planet Namek. <laughs> <laughs> you have made an enormous and whopping great crater cool. in the ground. Nice. Uh, so that's good. Anything else? You, you, you've got hooch and you've got crater. Yeah. What else we do you need? We need to put some aromatic barbecue? wood chips in this crater and okay. then get them burning to a smolder. Ah, yes. Yeah. So you were going to cut down a tree, I believe. Yeah. Make aromatic. me. <laughs> oh, Make me like an intelligence nature tree. check to find a tree. <laughs> find a nice aromatic one. Uh, Not all trees smell good when they're burned, right? So we'll find a nice. Shall I help with that? Good smell. Yeah. That's an eight. Oh, no, eight. Okay. <laughs> what is it? Intelligence. Intelligence, or, yeah. nature. That's a four. Well, this. <laughs> <laughs> you think here in this forest we didn't, wouldn't have much trouble, and yet. There's a single can't, tree. We can't see the forest for This trees. giant redwood will make some fine wood chip. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Mm. What a lovely, unique, and giant tree. <laughs> well, down it comes. Um, <laughs> Meryl's just watching this on, like, for, watching on, and just going. Yeah. Back to um, your, your beetle genocide. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. She's, she's, she's already messed up with one thing, and now she's like. And with those classic, uh, well, classic woodsman's tools, a cutlass and a mace. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a while, but you chop down a blunting both instruments. <laughs> you chop down a redwood. I'm going to roll a d4. It was three thousand years old, <laughs> and it falls on another species of beetle. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. There's a species of beetle that only lived in that tree. It turned out two of the other beetles survived, and they were like, "We must rebuild the <laughs> <laughs> We must repopulate the gap." <laughs> Um, sure, yeah. And there's a you've got oh you get so much this, this, you get so much wood chip off this baby. Mm. Uh, so we've got wood chip. Well, we've got, we've got a big crater. Build, we've got there, hooch. So, yeah. yeah. We've got we've got beetle hooch. Yeah. Ah, oh, beetle juice. It was right there. Oh. oh well. We'll get it in post. We'll say it three times and then it's fine. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we've got a smoking pit and we got a punch bowl. Mm-hmm. And we've probably got like loads juice. of potato salad. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. All right, yeah. 7 p.m., I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, hang up a sign that says, like, the big science blue owl and cookout. While this is happening, has Denise been on the blower to, <laughs> to let you Sorry, what is the, bl- the blower <laughs> in this context? <laughs> it's, a, it's a trumpet that you shout into, and then there's someone else at the other end Ooh, of the trumpet. I see. And it blows Ooh. your voice out at them. It's a great piece of technology. Denise said that she was going to go get her halberd. Right. That was the last week. She shows up halfway, to, like, just after the crater uh. emerges. Yeah. But she's like, uh, all right, I'm I'm good to go. When are we uh, confronting the old man? We're going to have a barbecue first. Hmm? We're going to have a barbecue. <laughs> yeah, slight change of plan. We're going to use some of our sly techniques to... Yeah. You know how we interrogated you and it was clear that we are sly professionals? <laughs> <laughs> sure. And we're going to use some of that same charismatic um, social stealth to um, deduce yeah. what Hamadal's about without tipping... Our hand. We figure if we can get a bit more info about his research, yeah. that'd be you know useful capital against him. Oh, that'd be great for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and but, great for you, obviously. So what we've done here is I wouldn't drink this, but mm. this is extremely alcoholic. Uh, we're going to get him a bit drunk because in vino veritas, am I right? I say giving her a giving her a nudge. Yep. Yep. Why does yep. it smell like honking stink beetle? Yeah, or sure. does it? Yeah. I cast prestidigitation on the honking sludge. Oh, well, that's better. <laughs> so we're not stabbing him to death. Not currently. Yeah, straight away. Get him good yeah. and drunk first. Then. Like it. Okay, yeah. uh, I'll go stash this somewhere. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Or you can put like meats on it. Yeah, stick yeah. it to a pig. Yeah, we could actually help. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. 
Get, gr get, <laughs> get grilling. Get busy grilling. Get all right. Busy <laughs> We'll all right, fine. Uh, yeah, uh, all right, yeah. Um, in that case, I think Denise probably could be off uh, trying to make contact with Liliana at this point, but frankly, this is very entertaining. <laughs> I think she wants to stick around and see what happens, slash kill Hamadar once yeah. he's good and drunk. Uh, so yeah, she'll go off and hunt up some stuff for the um, for the, for the the barbecue. Okay. All right. Now so everything's in place. Now everyone just like act natural and wait yeah. for Hamadar. My eyes, <laughs> my eyes start... Dragging themselves towards the alcohol, <laughs> <laughs> which I know to be almost poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> almost to a normal heavy lifting in that though. <laughs> do, do look pretty good. It was pretty you could, thirsty work. You can, you could, Deforesting. You could dilute little, it down. A little sip. I wouldn't drink it like that. Do a tiny no. create water in his. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we all need water. Troll water right oh. now. Mm. We all need to be drinking it. Or else Hamadal will be suspicious. That is a good point, actually, yeah. So let's, I pour everyone some. And just, I don't know, just like. I've got. Just um, do, like stand side on and do that. <laughs> no, 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 I've got some water with me and I just dilute everyone's. Drinks. I'm gonna just fill a cup with rum from a hip flask so I've got a drink. Yeah. He doesn't know it's not that. All right, cool. Yeah. So that wanders out and just stands there, just looks at the jug of alcohol that you stole from her lab and like, right. I bought this from home. Well, this here, Suzette, is is a delicious jug of plausible deniability. So you want to come to a normal barbecue? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a nice normal barbecue. Oh, I add that to the sign, the normal science. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to my laboratory. Oh, you owe me shame you some ethanol. make it. Got rum. Would that work? Yes. Okay. She just takes your hip flask and walks off. Wow. Science isn't an exact science. Mm. Uh, the man of the hour himself arrives. Um, he sort of totters up. Oh, well, this is lovely. Do play some Blue Owl music? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I've brought, um, brought some wine and uh, I've brought... Oh, these profiteroles? Oh, profiteroles. Oh, was, I could have sworn we had some trifle around here somewhere. But I think one of the chickens got in it. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be oh, yeah. picking that up for a while. It runs um, right through them, trifle. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Have some punch. It's uh, it's it's tropical. Oh, great. Sure. Hold on. Just let me put down this cooler. Ugh. And then he takes, he realizes he's wearing quite a blood spattered apron. That's <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> the giraffe burgers. Ah, oh, great. Um, what are we cooking them on? That smells amazing. Yeah, we've got the, the 24th. Foot <laughs> smoking crates. <laughs> throw, yeah. throw them into the bottom of that. I think is that wood chip? Oh yeah, mm. yeah. Oh lovely. It's aromatics. What kind of what kind of tree did you use? It smells rare. Tree. Yeah, one of them. Big tree. Certainly big was big one. Of them. Certainly big was one of them. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that'll be fine. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he sort of just reaches in. There's a stack of burgers, but also just like some steaks that, are that big. He's just like frisbeeing <laughs> like hunks of meat onto the fire. Nice. Oh, punch. That's Mm. Help yourself. Take a sip. I yeah. will. <laughs> Take a gulp. Drink it now. Mm. It's a barbecue. It's a barbecue of good vibes and no ulterior motives. Yeah, as you can see from the sign, the normal luau with no <laughs> ulterior motives. I love yeah. normal luau. Ulterior motives not allowed. Yeah. Leave your ulterior motives at the door. He takes a sip of uh, punch. And let's make a Constitution saving throw. That is a twelve. <laughs> He, I mean, the good news is he doesn't immediately vomit. Um, he does kind of go, oh, that punch mm. packs a, well, a wallop. He's <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. inst instantly looser. Yeah, we're like, all drinking it. it as well. Yeah, yeah. I have to drink it. Oh, yeah. great. Is this the kind of thing you normally drink? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. all about it. Uh, when we're really oh. trying to celebrate a job well done. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So let's talk about the job, man. I oh, think man, it went, less. I think it's going great. Yes, you know? please. I couldn't. I agree more. Suzette said, listen, I think I know some people that can help with your problems. Uh, one of them has rabies. And I thought, how unfortunate. He'll be dead in a week. She's and then she, ex <laughs> then she explained it was her brother, who's not dead. Yeah, as you can see. Who's not been not dead for more than a week. All of his weeks, in fact. 
The only reason you know there is at no point, Suzette tells me, at no point in this young man's life has he been dead. Yeah. No. Come close. It makes you think. Reduced to one hit point. Just is... come close. Yeah. And yet, but not of rabies. Not no. Rabies. No, no, but no, that's the thing. And now thanks to that, yeah. and of course, the, 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 the creepy thing Astatine does, uh, we shall never have a, a, a necromantic revenant with rabies again. But I'll tell you what, Hamadol. Oh. There's an orb in champagne and caviar. No, gone... no, I'm drinking this punch. Mm-hmm. The giraffe should be about ready. I've come oh, close yeah, to dying a that. few times. We all have. What? I mean, I'm just, me. I'm just so grateful that we could all be here today. When you think about the things that we've endured, I mean, I could talk about the business with the the skeletons. Mm -hmm. I could talk about the business with Liliana. Oh my gosh, I get a start on a clone. I look for a reaction. Go on. I could talk about the business with... What else have we done? Yeah. Oh, a bunch of stuff. Oh, there was like a library or something <coughs> and acid scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it's... Easier. Real, real ah, stuff. So yeah, now that you've easier. solved the whole yeah, that's the whole rabies thing, that, that's pretty much the end of your problems, right? I mean, it's plain sailing for old uh, Hammerdahl from here on out, right? Yeah, right. Ah, <laughs> uh, you couldn't be more right. He says, sort of taking a big sip. Uh, meh. Maybe. I mean, I was going to say, make me a wisdom insight check. You know he's lying. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Hammer dog. What? What? Friends here. Come on. We're not going to think any less of you. If Let's, you know, we, we all in the like, pose of progress. No, no. Let's all go around and say, like, a, an annoying thing that's happened recently. That's a great. I yeah. love this game. So I was I was on the ship the other day. Okay. And there was a, a hole in the boat. Drink. And we had no tar and feathers that to patch it. Ooh. Because him had dressed up like a big chicken. <laughs> he'd used all the tar and he'd taken all the feathers out of my pillow. <laughs> you laughed. That means it's your turn to tell oh, next. Oh, no. I was going to say he was corked between a rock and a hog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm laughing, which means I go next, but you have to go now. That's I'm the laughing. rules. Okay. Oh, I'm laughing. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the constitution saving throw. He sort of shakes himself and says, Oh, that's strong stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Refresh that for you. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, you know, it's difficult running a facility. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, the rabies was bad. Uh, Denise isn't much company. Yeah. Suzette's wonderful. <laughs> She's right here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just, I I just turn my nose, shoot Denise at, like a sort of drunken like. <laughs> <laughs> Suzette. He's got your number. Suzette's <laughs> wonderful, of course, but she never stops working. I mean, where's she now? Hmm? Working. 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 Right, yeah. And I thought all the problems right. were solved. What she could she possibly be working right. in? Right. Well, she's just diligent, and that's nice. But it's about work-life balance. You know, our time on this planet is short. Yeah, some, yeah, so, some too, too short. short sometimes, yeah. sometimes, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I agree. Oh. I mean, I'm trying to think of things that have died. <laughs> I mean, like... I'm, I'm trying to think of ways to. Well, that's rough. Yeah. If only there were, yeah. yeah, what did that giraffe dive actually? Before I what bite into you? this, oh, yeah, don't eat yeah. got blue tongue. It's weird. Don't eat it. <laughs> what if it was a disease? Um, no, no, it's natural cause. Natural Prune, cause. This, is a, young, you... this is a young yeah. sp- spring. I poke it. A young springy, <laughs> fresh, tender giraffe. Tender. Yum, yeah. yum, yum. Why would it die of natural causes? Just, just don't live very long. Hypothetical question, it's Prudence. Different. How much would you, how much would you give for a way to? To prolong our, our brief time on this beautiful blue wall. Oh, everything. That's my main place. motivation. <laughs> now that we come to, <laughs> to it, it's it's immortality. Like yeah. Death is, so. yeah. Well, you're an elf, are you not? Yeah. How long have you been alive? Over a hundred years. Whoa. <sighs> See, how do some people get all the luck? I know. Sometimes I think if we just took an elf and just sort of cracked it open. Yes. Yeah. Then we yes. could use some of the elf in the bones yes. for the necromancy. Yes. Because between, just between us, mm-hmm. the things I bring back do not live long. Really? Yeah, no. Uh, You'd never know it. You'd never know it. No, yeah, I know. Look, I get, I'm, 
I promised you a brachiosaur, and yeah. you got one. Yeah, so, yeah, and thank you. Oh, you. Don't thank me yet. It'll be dead in the morning. <sighs> well, I think that's hilarious. How <laughs> all you are, the living I mean, end. I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'd call it a brachiosaur point, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. performance check. Oh. Why do I have to? Because uh, four plus. <laughs> four plus does it matter? I'll tell you for why I got you to make that check. Would it be safe for me to assume that Dob is secretly quite sad about the fact that Brachiosaur is going to be dead in the morning? Uh, yeah, yeah. Was Dob overcompensating so, just then? Yeah. Uh, Dob overdid it. <laughs> oh, okay. And Hamadal's noticed. So, uh, I'm a sad drunk. <laughs> oh. When I have a little, when I get tipsy, I get sad. Oh. Sad about what was it about the brackets or? It was about, I think, about the zone of truth incident. <laughs> <laughs> Tears spring readily to, to my eyes. It's about a lot of things, Amador. Oh, I just wish there was what some is? way for all of my experiments to live longer than a few days. Because I keep doing them, the experiments, and they just keep just going. And it's a lot of work to, to repopulate the entire island via the means of necromancy and, and such, just for them to die again. At some point, Denise said, uh, we should stop doing that because they're all just dying. And I, so I said, shut up, Denise. Denise probably thinks he is cruel. Classic. Oh, Classic Denise, right? <laughs> Who gives a monkey what Denise thinks? <laughs> <laughs> I look at Denise again. <laughs> he's, he's, like, he's like, am I right? Am I right? He looks Denise back. I was like, am I right? Of course I am. Got you. Oh, Denise is here. Mm. Oh, okay. Been here the whole time. <laughs> but so it goes. But no, we shouldn't be moribund. We're here to celebrate. Yeah. We're celebrating. There's no more rabies. They may die of other things, but they're oh, not dying rabies. of rabies. Mm. To, I'll drink, drink to that. that. Not Great. dying of rabies. Cheers. Cheers. Not dying of rabies. Oh. oh. He falls backwards on his seat. <laughs> oh. He's not unconscious, but oh. he is not getting up. Uh, yeah. uh, all right. Oh. Hey, let's all lie down. Hamadel's got a fun new game. We lie down and talk about our secrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone go around and say one secret in order. Starting with Hamadel. <laughs> <laughs> you laughed. You have to go first. <laughs> Okay. First one to fall over says a secret. Uh, yeah. Everything I create in the lab dies very quickly. Well, you already told us. We already know that. Yeah. 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 Got a new one. I'm sad about everything I make in my lab dying very quickly. Oh. Okay, well that is new information. And, and I wish that there was sad. <laughs> I wish there was a way to Great prolong money. their lives or speak to someone who's in the same field. I love a research partner, but there's no one who's my intellectual equal. Let me check your damn email. Sorry. <laughs> he tries to set up. What is an email? Uh, it is Envelope an exciting mail. mail. Epistolatory mail. In uh, it just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, no, I never look at my post. Boring. Well, if you had, you would have seen. What? What? <laughs> Thank you. Have you been at the liquid zone? What did you say? If I had, I what? I said, if you had, you might have learned a thing or two about what an email is. What, did you, what do you know about my mail? I fall backwards. <laughs> ah. Oh, the psychorazon's out for the count. Yeah. How did we get so drunk? I don't uh, know. I don't know how. I didn't. What? Oh man, I'm so drunk, I say. So drunk. <laughs> well, I fall over. <laughs> <laughs> really lost the thread. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I'm not uh, sure I ever knew where it was. <laughs> Hamadal, part of the drinking game is that the one who lay, lied down first doesn't get to huddle. Let's huddle. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't seem like a very fun game. Okay. Is Denise in the huddle? No. No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Dob, Dob looks out of the huddle and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> what are we trying to do here? Well, we know. So, Hamadol is not collaborating with Liliana, but has basically admitted he would love to collaborate with someone mm. like Liliana, mm. who yeah. has cloning yeah. technology down to a T. Yeah. Mm. Right? But we don't yes. want that to happen. We don't Liliana's want that to happen. Uh, Hamadol is also speculating that the blood of an elf, see, 
here yeah. uh, might be the key to increasing the longevity of his uh, necromantic clones. I mean, those, yeah. some of Merylwen's blood. I mean, well, we already well, gave Dobbs blood, so yeah. 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 Just, just don't crack me open. <laughs> no, no, we'll do it another way. I'm sure he meant that figuratively. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, and then we solve the problem, and then there's no need for Leviana to be involved. Yeah, well... I don't know. I still don't think it's very much, it's very like Liliana to be just sort of like writing inquiring letters. You know? We don't like, know that's what they said because of the thing you did. We don't even know they're from Liliana. Okay, it said okay. The shall I bring team. up the hag now? <laughs> Go on then. thought we had a rule. Let's <laughs> we had litigate the hag, well, shall we? We have a that hasn't um, wiped out population. Yeah. If we, I think she Liliana was probably it. trying to steal knowledge. As a sorceress, you know, she you know, wants knowledge and... Well, then why would she show her hand by writing a letter? Well, maybe the like, letter was like, I, too, am a fellow academic. And I, I am would an love intern. To I would love to come visit. <laughs> <Yeah, exactly. laughs> yeah. yeah. um, Hang on, I've, we've, I've just, like, realised the the issue with... It doesn't matter about Denise, because Liliana does know where this place is because she's written letters to it, so she knows the address. Yeah, she must be aware, right? Yeah. Also, if we complete Hamadal's research, doesn't that just offer up Liliana an even... Yeah. Or plug and play cloning experience, or well, yeah, then you exactly, raise yeah. the point: should we destroy all the research? We tried and didn't the we? technology <laughs> and this island. Do we think? Maybe. Ham- do we think Hamadal, when he sobers up tomorrow, is gonna like try and like kidnap and kill Meryl Wen for her elf blood? Or, or no. is yeah, it's too nice. Boring. You're here in the background. <laughs> but you're winning. Oh. You're winning the game. Who's this is the highest longest? score we've ever seen. Yeah, let's yeah. keep it going. Keep it going. Now I'm no great judge of character, but he doesn't seem like the kind to crack open an elf and oh, steal her blood. He's doing necromancy down there. Yeah, but necromancy is cool. He's not turning cool. them into hats. Let's just say that. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's not his making heart them is dead. in the right place. Yeah, a lot of animals are dying and suffering in the pursuit of his sort of, you know, bringing back a couple that hang around for a while. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I, that's, I, I would say that's morally grey. What animals are dying and suffering? Well, all the ones... The ones that die prematurely? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. It would, they wouldn't be suffering if we if helped him complete his research. And then he wouldn't have to experiment so much because then he'd have a working population that he could just then breed normally and but, just use this as a backup. And but, we'd bring back but, extinct animals. That we would cool. have given, we, we would be like bringing into the world a secret that Liliana could potentially exploit to devastate him. You saw, the, you saw the stack of letters Liliana has been writing that hasn't pursued it any further than just sending letters at this point. So. If only we'd known what well, maybe she, yeah, she knows. Oh, okay, your great. Love. It was literally a field yeah. of bones. We should just help him complete his research. Then he'll be happy. He won't like be doing any more weird stuff. And Liliana, we can just warn him of her. Warn him of Liliana about because say, she's keep an evil yourself cloner. Safe, I'm safe. finishing the punch. No, don't. No, don't do that. Don't drink any more of the punch. <laughs> do it, oh. you legend. Is that part of the game? Egbert, yeah. I drink the punch Urinate to avoid him. Constitution saving throw! <laughs> <laughs> uh, a disadvantage because you've, you've, you've downed the whole thing. Oh. Uh-oh. That's a 10 plus 2 is 12. And again. roll again. What about, oh, it's it is yeah, you got, you got, yeah. 8 <laughs> plus 2 is 10. You are drunk. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Egbert got his drank on. <laughs> Yeah, Paladin cut loose. Yeah, you right. dungeons and dragons. <laughs> 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 the the sort of dragons. the smoke that normally just sort of like comes from your nostrils is, is currently just a blue flame. <laughs> oh, nice. Just venting off. <laughs> Whoa, um, Ham- Hammerdale. See you, George. <laughs> what if we would? What? what if we were to get you some some an elf blood sample? We could see if that would help with the longevity situation. From you. Yeah, only a little, not in a, not like so. Wow, well, no, that's very yeah. generous. Ten pints max. How many pints do you think you have total? I don't think I have ten. Right. Oh, <laughs> Merylwen's got to keep a pint back for herself. Why? The procedure's quite fatal. Oh, oh is we it? Do that. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. I wasn't what, talking how? figuratively. When you you have to crack the elf. We didn't part, have right? to crack your skull open. I know, it works differently. Oh. Why? Elves, blood magic. I don't know, we tried it. We've, believe me, we tried elf blood before, we tried well. everything. And we concluded that the only way it would work is if you crack the elf open. I wish we oh, were the marrow. So you want the marrow? Yeah. Well, we should sort of build everything. So, 
Regressively, we have taught it into canon. <laughs> You're not going to crack Liliana over and take her blood. <laughs> not with that. That seems like hard. Uh, but... <laughs> if we look, if we if if we were if it was if it was, if it was within our means to like, crack Liliana open, we would we have done it. Do that the first time we... What if we clone Merylwen and then just crack the clone open? Yeah. Hey now. Within the day that it takes. Yeah, quickly. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, that's cool. just science. Yes. Um, but yeah. Merylwen, if you always wanted a sister. <laughs> But Brief, then the blood wouldn't because no, then the blood wouldn't have the longevity in it. Because ah, the clone blood. The okay, well why don't we clone Merowyn and then kill Merowyn? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's the evilest thing I've ever heard in a lovely We clone Merylwen. No, 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 no. We clone Merylwen. Clone... Kill Merylwen. Yeah. Then give her the, that treatment to the clone. And then that clone will live forever. And yeah. that clone will live forever. And the only problem is it will we'll know it's not never the original Merylwen. <laughs> and it won't have the memories. Will it have the memories of an original Merylwen? Will it have the or- memories of the original Merylwen? Clones don't have uh, memories. No. 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 So it'll be like a fresh new Merylwen. This all sounds... <laughs> This all sounds quite complicated and unethical. Yeah, and that's, that's not, I'm not saying no. Complicated and unethical. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's our new and, motto. <laughs> <laughs> what, okay. What? That's our new Com- motto. Complicated and Complicated and unethical, yeah. So, that's the updated one. I just, I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm happy to crack the elf open, but making a clone and then trying to crack open the elf... And then crack open the other elf to fix it in just the right amount of... It sounds messy. What about you just crack like a leg or... <sighs> if only there was some other... Some other... <laughs> method that. of immortality that could present itself. Wait. How old is the hag? We're not going back to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're doing what you... We'd be doing what you want us to. You'll somehow... Mm. No, somehow. It's best... Something best I, left buried. <laughs> I have a, I slide the coin that's on the necklace around my neck into my into my shirt. And I, <laughs> Doesn't coin. Yeah, it seems like there's no other other avenues of uh, pursuit here, folks. So we should probably just Wait. crack open Merylwen. Probably just crack open Merylwen. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't, doesn't aren't Corazon's shipmates all like eternal? Don't think so. Skeletons. Skeletons. I think I'd I think I'd they remember are. something like that. Would, would, would it would it be good to then curse the animals? Would they then live forever? Would that lead to a population problem? That's still not perfect. Mm, I, I yeah, but the thing is. The very, very first part of what you said was what we wanted. <laughs> so if we'd have just stopped there. But I think, I think we just want longevity, not immortality. Well, then we'll only just put a little bit in, or whatever it is. <laughs> As somebody who doesn't live for 100 years, anything that lives for hundreds of years is functionally immortal. So <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Corazon. Uh-huh. You remember, like, your old shipmates? We haven't seen them in a while. One's in a whale, right? Which one didn't you like the most? I don't remember. Which one was the most annoying? I, just uh, shipmates. It's a, it's a, it's a blank. What? <laughs> who? Where? Corazon? Who? Who's Corazon? We were gonna go to like Annie a big is. hole or whatever. Yeah. And curse all like the curse. We're gonna uh-huh. deliver your coins. curse coins. Yeah, yeah. I've been meaning to. I've been meaning to get to that. Yeah. yeah. I've been meaning to go back to the, to the worst place I've ever been in my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When you did, you, when you do that, you'll be breaking the curse, right? Yeah. Breaking the, it, oh, yeah, the yeah, curse. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I can't wait to break the curse. What if we break the curse? Like, I want to break the curse. Yeah. What if we almost just got to go back to back to that place? Which you know, I've been, I'm gonna do it. I'm just, you know, stuff's come up. What's the whole deal with the curse hole? How did immortality? How was immortality sort of bestowed upon your shipmates? Well, it's, a, it's a curse. Yeah. The, cur- the curse of immortality. But who yeah. cur- who who did the curse? Oh, it was a curse on the treasure itself, yeah. yeah. But there's, you know, there's other stuff going on. There. But if you have some of the treasure... I don't think so. Does that mean you are also immortal? Are you immortal? No, no, I'm not immortal. So are you not? cursed? That's what an immortal... I've been gathering up. Them. <laughs> yeah. Crack him open. Oh, <laughs> 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 Holy cracking government. Denise, why are you standing behind me? Denise is kind of standing there like... Not oh, now, Denise! Sling your hook, Denise. We're nearly there. Yeah. On! We're nearly there. This guy... She stalks off with her, her halberd into the night. We shouldn't have invited Denise. I know, right? <laughs> this guy's got immortal friends. Wow. I, d- I do have some... 
ex-colleagues <laughs> who are functionally immortal due to it's like it's like a curse. I don't know if it would really work. It's not very scientific. Would a curse work for you? Sure, a curse. A curse would work for me. Great, probably. Um, what what does it do? Does it turn you into an elf? Uh, no, it doesn't turn you into an elf. Um, Disposable elf. Or, too cool. you're just, <laughs> wow. Damn. Uh, mean drunk. <laughs> no, you basically you can't be you can't be killed, and right. your lifespan is sort of unnaturally infinite. Oh, um, you can be like incapacitated, uh, right? But we then should... you sort of come back within a few days. So, yeah. Well, if we just cursed all of the things I've been making on the island, they wouldn't fall over and die so much. That's, That's tr- true. Right. That would be great. Pat Merrill but, went, don't think further than the first part. Let's <laughs> curse but, them. But then, then what if they then start to breed and then you've got I think the ethical thing to then... do would make it so they can't breed. And then you've just yeah, got non-breeding I've heard immortal of a, dinosaurs. I've heard of a story like this where that didn't work. <laughs> oh no, it'd probably be fine. Story. We've already been doing it. Everything on this island is female. And it uh-huh. dies within a week. Uh-huh. Well, that's <laughs> you hear the second pass is <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Is that my bracket? No, I think, I think so. so. Um, It'll be fine. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Maybe, though, the offspring of it won't have the same curse. This is right? only a problem if for Meryl, because she's going to live that long. I don't know if it's um, a generational curse. Yeah. Meryl was yeah, worried about so what's going to happen in 100 maybe years. Maybe we'll we are just not. create a generation <laughs> of animals that will live forever and their offspring will all perish. If it becomes them. a problem, we just lift the curse somehow, right? Yeah. yeah we just throw the coins in the hole or whatever. Uh, maybe it's take because that I'm... responsibility when we're all dead. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> maybe it's because I'm list. absolutely bad. <laughs> yeah. But it feels like we've jumped from learning about an exciting new curse to the intricacies of, of breeding yeah, not sure creatures how we on that. quite swiftly. I'm just saying, why don't we curse first? Ask questions. And ask logistical questions about breeding later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. We need like, to know if it like, works. Like, I don't think it's like, relevant. How does it work? <laughs> How does it work? Yeah. Well, I don't know. There's like a big na- the balance of nature. Apparently there's a big hole. No, 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 not the curse. Breeding? Yes. <laughs> oh. How does it work? I take Hamadal to one side and explain how breeding works to him. Okay. You explain. <laughs> you explain Dob is understanding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how breeding works. I'm rolling oh, my <laughs> side. Of the neck. I try and avoid that. He comes. He comes back looking yeah, quite okay. pale. That sounds awful. Well, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> well, let's cast him then. Okay. Uh, this sounds great. Yeah, this is a celebration. Is. Messing with curses is a bad idea. Well, you did it. Yeah, and it was a bad idea. Ah, okay, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well listen, this if slavery. we've got you with us, you can't go wrong. I have been meaning to break the curse. Right. Then, right. I mean, if I break the curse, yeah. and then you can just you can get cursed if you want. I okay. Yes, it. I'm not asking you to get cursed we again get, or we whatever. We break the curse on Corazon's crew, and then yeah. that frees up some cursed treasure for someone else to get cursed with. For example, I'm just, a honking great giraffe. Yeah, yeah, I'll curse all of my creatures, and I'll curse me. So I'm always here to do my research. Mm. Yeah. Suzanne can get cursed if she wants, do lots of work there. No. Denise can't. <laughs> yeah. Denise oh, isn't allowed. Oh, now you change your mind. Denise yes. isn't allowed. Denise gets one shot at this, and frankly, she's doing a bad job. <laughs> you blew it, Denise. <laughs> you didn't blow it, Denise. Where is Denise? Denise! Behind you. Oh. <laughs> Directly Bo- behind you. <laughs> Denise comes stalking back in and starts like, Turning something over the low embers yeah. of the fire. Good news, Denise. Uh, Hamadal's going to get cursed. Good. What's the curse do? Uh, oh, it's pretty. Uh, pretty it's good. a Endless curse. torture. Yeah. So... Endless torture. <laughs> Great. Torture without end. Yeah. She takes a bite out of an abyssal chicken. <laughs> he'll wish. He'll wish spit. he could. He wish he was dead, but he will be unable to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah. Let's all go to the curse hole. 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 Yeah. Let's all go to the curse hole and get ourselves a curse. <laughs> no one else got any other 
any other like character buttholes or hooks they want to? Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of, it's not. It's not that I don't want to lift the curse. Obviously, My sister's I do. right here. My rabies explained. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> what about that, done. Old, that old hermit who abandoned you? What was his deal? Maybe, <laughs> Maybe the old hermit was <laughs> involved. He kicked his head. Oh, yeah. What about your oh, birth yeah. parents? What are they about? Let's discover. <laughs> They're probably not immortal. They're oh, probably yeah. dead already. Um, it's a not an adjacent, more locally available What's your octopus curse? boyfriend up to? <laughs> <laughs> we can find out. Didn't work out. Uh, <laughs> Well, a quiet descends over the barbecue as, um, apart from the, the sound of, uh, of, of Denise slow, slowly <laughs> rotisserie cooking an abyssal chicken, um, as, as, yeah, the sort of the, the, the reality of what you're contemplating starts to sink in hmm. and you swear just on, on, the, on the breeze um, from the river that, of course, leads down to the ocean. You hear a mournful note. Well, you know, obviously, I, I, I want to lift the curse. It's the, it's the right thing. Like to, it's the right to. thing to do. Yeah, why don't you want? What's your I do, no, I do want to. I do want then to lift it. Then let's go do it. Let's go do it then. But you know, while I was collecting all the missing coins and stuff, I right. just had a very clear thing to focus on, which was get the coin, get the next coin, mm. get all of the coins. Yes. Right. And now that I do have all of those, the next part of that plan is returning to the curse hall. Uh, yes. It, What's so bad about the curse hall? It's a curse hall. I think it's a scary curse hall. All right, well, we won't go in. You have to just throw in. it in. Just no. put the coins in. Just throw we'll it in be the hole. Let gravity do it. We'll be with you. All right? Yeah, marijuana will be with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. We'll be there. Oh, good. We'll be there for you. Hammerdahl's coming. It's well, I, I guess we'll head back to the to the boat. I mean, it's going to take a few days to, to sail over there, so yeah. we're not doing it right now, are we? So that's another step to focus on. Yeah, there's like there's Look, there's there's, I, there's hours between you and being confronted with the nightmarish curse hole. Yeah, and, and like we've got a little little Percy Junior with us. He can be your know, emotional support, yeah. Griffin. Percy Junior not gonna like the curse hole. There's <laughs> <laughs> a curse hole. None of us are gonna like it probably. No. Oh right, sorry. I see what you're going for. Little, yeah, but yeah, it'll help having little Percy Junior little there little being there. upset, yeah, thrashing around, oh, thrashing wait, around, no, screaming, no. saying, "Father, Father, <laughs> release me from the castle." <laughs> Why, Father? <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. So I guess we'll head back to the boat. We'll need to do a supply run to pick up some more tar after Rick that used it all up. So I'll <laughs> I warn you, I had a drink. It might happen again. <laughs> I'm up for tar. It's on a flight risk. Stuff. Mm. No. <laughs> I want to I want to lift the curse. Yeah. It's the right thing to do. And I can't wait to, I can't wait to go and do it. <laughs> so let's go and do it. Yeah. Let's, let's go yeah, revisit let's... the most traumatic event of my life. I, mm. I can't I cannot wait. I say striding <laughs> off towards the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You um, don't have to go until the morning. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> the, 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 the camera's on a pull. Back of Cora's on like, who's definitely walking all the way <laughs> to uh, to the joyful damnation, uh, where from whence you will go to the curse hole. It should be fine. Curse hole. Curse hole. There you go. Nice. Oh, it's pronounced curse hole. Curse hole. Hello, lovely Oxventure viewers. Just to let you know, there will be a brief pause in Oxventure Extinction next week while we share with you a wonderful live show recorded here at PAX, where I'm currently sitting in a very comfy chair. Um, normal programming will resume the week after, and we will finally find out what happens at the curse hole. We will see you there. <laughs> <laughs>